So hello, my name is uh, Matthias Stumpf from QNX Software Systems, and I'm the uh, Global Account Manager for Harman Automotive. Great, and so what are you going to show us today? I will show you today our newest demo, it's the QNX Car 2.1. Um, what we see here, it's a system, a demo system called Rindia. On the left side, you will see in a, in a second that will power it off, by the, uh, on by the way, it's now powered off. On the, on the left screen, you will see um, the digital instrument cluster, it's a self-running demo. Um, and on the right side, you will see an, uh, an instrument, a an, uh, navigation system, okay. infotainment system. Let's start. Okay, now I power it on. And you can also see the, the fast boot on the system. So the instrument cluster is coming up, but there was in a second. And the infotainment system is starting now. It takes usually a couple of seconds, but uh, usually the OEM uh, can, can uh, for example, display the review camera or whatever they want to show. And now you see the, the first screen is there. It's already active. You can go through and browse through the different uh, menu items, for example. Um, here you see the, the navigation menu, you can see the, um, the music uh, menu for playing video and radio and music uh, from different sources, by the way. Um, so we support, for example, USB sticks, we support um, Apple iPhones and Android phones as well as Blackberry phones. And for sure you can also play music uh, from the infotainment system itself. You have a setting screen uh, where you can set your audio control, climate control, you can personalize your, your in-car device um, for driven drivers, for example, and you can also see virtual mechanics there. Um, you have a yeah, phone menu. As soon as I connect my phone, I will do it in a second, then you will also see that these uh, gray boxes will be active and you can dial and see text messages and email messages and all those things. Um, and you have an, an application screen where you can see all different apps that are, this is a demo again, but in OEM would usually allow you to uh, use several um, applications or not on your in-car infotainment system. And this is the all screen, but there are also sub-menus, for example, for vehicle applications like set settings, shutdown, review camera and so on, um, games, if you're allowed to have games on the, um, on the infotainment system while you're driving, uh, media like Pandora, for example, or Slacker Radio, and some internet um, applications as well, like best parking or browser or whatever you need. So just to explain, the OEM decides what are the applications you're allowed to have working when you're driving, correct? That's usually, yeah, by law, and usually the OEM want to decide what they, what they want to allow to show you. There is, for sure, there's another technology called MirrorLink. Mm -hmm. um, we also support this, but I don't have the, the right phone with me. But if you connect a phone via MirrorLink mm -hmm. to your navigation system, and the first cars are already um, available with this functionality, um, then you can display your phone screen mm -hmm. on the navigation screen, but at the end the applications and everything runs on the phone or on, the, on your device. It can okay. also be a, another device. And when you personalize this, how do you say who you are when you get in the car? Is that driven by a code or by your phone? Or? It really depends on the, on the OEMs and how they want to set up. So um, what I will do now, I will go into the uh, personalization and connect my phone. So here you see, for example, uh, I can change the schemes, like um, I can go whatever, you know, my, dry, uh, my, my, my car is also driven by my daughter or my wife, you know, by my son, whatever, then I can change this and this, the skin is changing and you can add a photo or whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, you can add your preferred device like my Z10. Um, and the first time um, I need to connect it, so I have to say, um, connect to my phone and then you see also the uh, variable functions. So you see um, my phone supports now together with the infotainment system the hands-free, the phone book, messages and also audio playback. Okay, but also here um, you're showing the Wi-Fi hotspot. Can you talk about that? Sure, yeah. We, we have other functionalities in this configuration menu as well like you can, for example, run software updates. Um, this is usually something that the OEMs like to control, mm -hmm. but you can do this wireless. Uh, we support this with, uh, with partner functionality as well as 
um, that you can do it via, via a USB stick, for example, or a Viad connection, really depending on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, like map data, for example, this is several, uh, several hundred megabytes. If you update this on an internal system, then usually you, use, uh, you go back to the garage um, and, and do this via a Viad connection, or you, you may use a USB stick to update your maps, for example. But you can also do smaller software updates wireless while you're driving. Um, QNX support this from the operating system. Yeah, we have a wired network. If you want to connect this, Wi-Fi clients can be connected and, uh, and seen here as well as the, uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot. This is, um, this is interesting. Some cars have this already um, that are on the street. And the, the good thing is that you can connect all your devices wirelessly to your, to your car, like a laptop or, or, um, or a phone. And uh, for example, surfs on the web. This is mainly for passengers, mm -hmm. um, but uh, but this is this is new as well. Yeah, that's right. So let's go to the main screen. Now you see that my phone is connected. Uploads the phone book, and you can also see the recent messages that are on my phone. Um, you can see that there is nothing, no media playing right now, and there's no, no navigation in progress. Um, and since I have no, no connectivity, I don't see any weather information. This can be changed as well. This is just one example configuration of the main screen. Let's go into navigation now and say that I want to I wanna maybe browse the map. Um, you see that we support in, in this demo here the um, Electrobit um, navigation on the system, but you can easily run any other navigation engine. We are supporting uh, a lot of others as well or you do your own um, navigation engine as an as in tier one um, you can so you can browse through the map for example zoom in and out and all those things um, <clears throat> go back to the menu and you can see the travel history for example there is no recent destination in um, so let's for example choose one point of interest and say public places and say city hall and let's go to, oh, today we want to drive through Toronto. And um, you see that the navigation is starting now. Mm -hmm. uh, again, it's a demo, but uh, it's starting. The map turns around. And when I go back to main screen now, then I see uh, the turn-by-turn -turn navigation also on the main, stream, main screen. I can see my messages again and all the other information I want to see there. And does the OEM have all the decisions as to what the main screen looks like, or does the driver have some customization too? It really depends on the OEM. So okay. some OEMs allow to uh, reconfigure the, the main screen or the screens in general, the menus, and uh, some do not allow. Mm -hmm. This really depends on the OEM. Okay. But usually they own this, so it's their device, and they can decide what, what's allowed what's not allowed. So, um, yeah, you see the demo is just working. Let's maybe go to audio playback. So you have radio, video. If, if, you're, if you're a passenger, you're allowed to watch video. That's usually by law or while you're standing with your car, not driving. Um, <clears throat> but playing music is the thing, typical thing you want to do. So I have to select the media first. Um, let's go for jukebox. Let's go for songs. And let's, uh, let's, let's start with Hero. You can see now that there are several media on the infotainment system, on the media, um, <clears throat> on the infotainment system, like a hard disk usually. And you can also go through the different um, albums here and just choose one, press play. And unfortunately, we don't hear this because we have no speakers connected. Um, but if, if I would uh, connect speakers, like in the car usually, an audio system is installed, then you will also hear the music. But if I go back to main screen now, or navigation stop, by the way, but um, so I can restart this maybe, and you can see that on the main screen, main screen you would see now uh, which kind of music you are playing, where it comes from, the sources, jukebox, and so on. My messages again, and the and the uh, navigation turn by turn. And the jukebox could be on your phone, it could be in the cloud, it could right. be in the vehicle, all yeah. of the above? Yeah. Okay. So for example, I have also um, my phone here, go to Bluetooth, Bluetooth phone, and then I can play music from my phone that you can see here. And if you go to the phone, that 
then I see that uh, where's the music here that um, this has started now hitting my heart so and I can change this oh, on great. on the yeah. screen here or I can also uh, it, it takes a while to upload all the, the music mm -hmm. uh, via Bluetooth so uh, when I start this first time but you can see it now that's the same as running on the phone here mm -hmm. um, as well as um, on the on the screen and I can control it from the screen and if you can see it here but then it stops here as well and uh, if I press play again it start playing again and back to the home screen you can see now that the source is Bluetooth phone and uh, the song is from Adela hometown glory so we also have settings um, as I said before and the settings menu um, includes for example the audio control um, so you can control your audio your bass travel and so on um, you can go into climate control this is sure demo and every OEM wanna wanna do their own kind of uh, setup here mm -hmm. and look and feel but at the end you can do the simple things like you know tell the temperature up and down you know climate control on and off and seat heating on and off and all those things so typical uh, uh, car settings in car settings for climate control personalization we went through before and um, I also have my water mechanics here this is also valuable in some cars on the street like the new S-Class for example that they have a kind of uh, manual plus uh, information from sensors in the car like for example the braking system shows you the, um, the uh, ABS sensor and the braking pads mm -hmm. and if everything is right or not so if there is an error occurring then you would you would see this on the main screen as well as if you go through the menus here um, and you can also go through whatever electrical system and see that uh, there are the uh, left tail light um, that's a problem and you might want to go to the garage and and check it okay so the phone menu now you see that this is all uh, available like i have my address book here available i can go mm -hmm. through my address book uh, i have all my email messages available um, I have my text messages available and I also have a dialing pad where I can dial any number um, to connect mm -hmm. and uh, to talk to somebody. That's mm -hmm. typical things, I mean nothing, yes. nothing new. And finally we can also go back to the application screen um, yeah, where you can see all the different applications and as I said before depending on the OEM we have, for example, a calculator here on. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do whatever, you know, calculate how many gas you were consuming and if the, uh, you know, you can, you can do this or, or any other thing, right? One question on the applications on this page, how do they get on the screen? Are they downloaded? Is this uh, through your mobile device? Is this through a cloud interface, through the vehicle? Or does that change depending on the OEM? What are it, the options there? Yeah, it depends on the OEM as well. So uh, some OEMs offer applications through their own uh, server as of today, like BMW, for example, they do this with connected drive. Um, and other OEMs uh, may allow to connect your phone and, and download this through your phone or at the end show then through MirrorLink the applications on your phone, but you do not really download the applications. Um, or other OEMs may offer an, an, an app store as well so that you can download this. In the future, uh, for sure, will also be that there are applications available in the cloud. Mm -hmm. And then, um, depending on the OEM for sure, but then you can, you can download and access the, uh, the apps through the cloud again. Mm 